Hello and welcome to the complete course of Azure Machine Learning. In the last session, we have gone through the theoretical concept of how to create a virtual machine, right? Here we will go into the practical session and see how do we create a YML file. So let's start it with uh, creating a YML file we will, wherein we will install all the required libraries. We'll mention it over here and we'll see how do we execute a command and create a new virtual environment. So let's get started. So here I have just uh, opened uh, one file in a notepad and named it as a env file.yml and here I will write a few uh, code in YML format. So what I need to mention here the name of an environment. So here if you see the name then colon the name of the environment. So here I kept the name of an environment as a virtual environment. Then the channel. Oh, there are few channels uh, in default like a conda channel there are a conda pip manager conda manager we have a pip manager so uh, here i have given by default it will pick the conda manager right and the few library which is been installed so uh, in dependencies uh, you will mention the library which needs to be installed so i need a python version 3.8.5 to be installed over here i need anaconda whole anaconda packet because it consists of most of the library which i need to use it in my project and which pip version you want to use i i wanted to use the pip version of 20.1.1 if you don't want to mention the pip version you can just uh, remove this line however i need this pip version that's the reason i have given this 20.1.1 and the way you are installing your libraries uh, in your console like pip install that's the way just you need to mention in this format dash azure ml dash sdk so what this uh, azure ml sdk does it it creates a bridge between the azure machine learning and your local computer so you can directly execute your program from local to your azure machine learning so there are two way of execution of your model right if you wanted to train your model you just write a code and directly execute it in your local machine and the second way you will write your code in your local machine and then if you wanted to use the resource of the Azure machine or the Azure portal, you will just mention a few lines of a code and directly execute it, uh, it into the Azure portal, uh, right? From the local machine. So that's the reason this Azure SDK needs to be installed. So once this uh, file is uh, ready, you will just save this file and go to the console. So. Uh, in the console, uh, what you need to do it, uh, you have already know that uh, your Anaconda is being installed in a D Anaconda. For me, it would be D. For you, it would be any other library which you have or any other folder which you have mentioned it while installing the Anaconda. So once uh, you will mention over there, I'll show you here again. These are the environment uh, which uh, I have created now. I have an environment uh, with name virtual environment where the folder is not there. Once I'll install, you can see the new folder is created over here, which contains all the libraries, right? So let's get started. So what I'll do it, I'll just go to my libraries. So what I need to do it, I just need to write a code. Mm, I'll go to that particular directory where I have so D cd azure cd demo and if i do dir you can you can see that there is an environment file env file dot yml right so uh, what you need to do it you need to write a command conda environment Well, wow, now it's completed, right? So uh, my virtual environment is created. And if you'll go into an environment over here, you can see the environment folder is being created, which we have given it in my YML file. If you open this file, 
you will see a lots of libraries which has been installed there are dll you can go to the libs folder uh, here you will see there are some python 3.8 folders uh, libraries are present so uh, that's the way you will create a virtual environment by creating a uh, YML file. You can also do the same by using a requirement.txt. However, I prefer to do it, or the industry standard would prefer to do it to the YML file because it is very easily portable to the other environments or uh, into the other clouds infrastructure, right? So once this is done, uh, you need to activate because you have a lots of different virtual environment in which virtual environment you need to work on so here what you need to do you just need to write conda activate and your virtual environment name that is your virtual env you can mention anything right so once you click here you are now logging into your virtual environment now here if you click on python you will go to a python and you can see you can import your azure library as well right so here you will see you can import your azure library as well we will see what all the azure uh, libraries we can install it while using our program however here you can see that we have created a virtual environment in our local machine using a yml thank you